In this episode of Pop Culture Weekly, I am live in Washington, D.C. for the Library of Congress's Gershwin Prize that they are giving to Elton John and Bernie Taupin. I am so excited. There's a tribute concert, and it's so awesome. We're going to talk to a bunch of the performers, including Marin Morris and Annie Lennox, Metallica, and maybe even Elton and Bernie themselves. Let's go. Welcome to Pop Culture Weekly with Kyle McMahon from iHeartRadio. Your pop culture news, views, reviews, and celebrity interviews on all the movies, TV, music, and pop culture you crave weekly. Here's Kyle McMahon. What's up? Thanks for joining me here on Pop Culture Weekly. I am live in Washington, D.C. for PBS's Library of Congress Gershwin Prize that they are awarding to Elton John and Bernie Taupin for excellence in songwriting. It is the highest prize that you can get. So there is a tribute concert with Marin Morris, Charlie Puth, Metallica, Garth Brooks, Annie Lennox, and maybe even... Elton and Bernie themselves. So I'm here on the red carpet. It's kind of crazy. Let's see who's up first. Actually, it looks like Marin Morris is up first. Let's talk with Marin. Hi. Thank you for speaking with me. What does this moment mean for you? You know, you're here honoring Elton John. You're performing. Like, that's, that's such an honor for you, and it's a testament to your talent as well. What, what does that mean for you? Um, I mean, as far as songwriting goes, there is no more top tier than these two. So as a songwriter myself, having moved to Nashville 11 years ago to be a songwriter, they just were always my template on greatness. And um, knowing them personally is just such icing on the cake. And, um, you know, I, I feel like they've worked their butts off for so many decades. Elton did this massive, like, farewell tour last year that wrapped. And now they just get to, like, sit and enjoy other people honoring them. And I think that that's, I mean, a huge honor for me to be one of them. I love yeah. Thank you. Love, love, love her. She's so sweet, so talented, such a great songwriter herself. And it looks like next up, here comes Metallica. What's... James, what's an Elton song you wish, an Elton and Bernie song you wish you wrote? Uh, oh, oh, the one we're playing. <laughs> what legends. I can't wait to see what they're going to perform. And up next on the red carpet, Brandy Carlisle. Let's talk with her. Brandy, uh, you are an incredible songwriter, performer yourself. Um, what does this mean for you to be here honoring two of the greatest songwriters in history? Honestly, man, it's really surreal. This is not a situation I ever thought that I would find myself in, especially performing the songs I'm performing tonight, which you'll, you'll see when I do it. It's, um, it's bringing me back to a time in my life when I really needed Elton and Bernie. I needed their words and I needed them to help sculpt my worldview and show me the future I could be a part of. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be heavy for me tonight, um, but I'm so proud of them. The Gershwin Prize is the highest honor in songwriting, and it's really beautiful to see them honored in such a profound way for their craft. I don't know that there's ever been anybody better. Elton John and Bernie Taupin there. Brandi Carlisle, wow, she's so amazing. I saw her with Pink on Pink's Summer Carnival Tour last year, as you may know, and she is such an incredible performer, songwriter, artist, singer-songwriter. Love her. <gasps> Annie Lennox is coming up next. She is an icon. Let's talk with Annie. Annie, will we ever get a new album from you? Um, let's see. I'm, I'm not being coy about it. Um, I just don't like to, partic yeah. no, to anticipate. Yeah. Um, the one thing, sorry. The one thing um, that is difficult for me is touring. So uh, that's something I did constantly. And at my age now, it's, physically it's too demanding. But I think there might be other ways to share my music and to share the music that I'm probably going to be making in the future. So that, that I haven't stopped. I mean, I, I love doing uh, to be here tonight, to be invited. It's just a thrill, to be honest. Yeah. I can't wait till it comes out. Thank you. 
I just talked to Annie Lennox. I am literally what? Annie Lennox is one of my favorites, and she gave me an exclusive on a new album that is so awesome. And here comes Elton and Bernie. Let's see what happens. What's up, guys? Elton, what does this moment mean for you? Sorry, just photos here. Oh. This way, guys. Right here, Elton. Him first, Elton, right here. Out. Elton, right over here. Elton, this way. How are you? From Mazer. There you go, guys. You wouldn't be here without that. What you guys? Is there a favorite song that you've both written together? Many of them. Uh, probably Sacrifice is my favorite. Sacrifice. Yep. Bernie Talpin, this is insane. Next. And by the way, though I'm here at the taping, the show, the full show, Tribute Concert, is airing on PBS Monday, April 8th. Check your local listings for specific times. but And then I'm sure it'll be, you know, on PBS if you miss it the first time. But make sure you go and watch. This is incredible. What amazing talent honoring two of the greatest songwriters of all time. Elton John. I was in the presence of Elton John. I can't believe it. All right. I'm going into the show. I love you guys. See you next time. We up. Thank you for listening to Pop Culture Weekly. Hear all the latest at popcultureweekly.com. Elton is traveling tonight on a plane. Elton McGurswick Prize. And you can watch some PBS. Monday, April 8th, check your local listings.